remember me? No? Well, that doesn't surprise me. Well, I hope you're both well. I must apologise to both of my watchers, as I looked back the other day and realised that I hadn't done a video for six months. Six whole months. But believe me, not a month went by without me thinking I should get some thoughts down onto digital thingies to be posted on YouTube for people to troll me over. But the months have just flown by, haven't they? And I either haven't had a chance, or I've been too stressed in my personal life to have the energy to put it into news, etc. But that looks like it's changing. I'm a great believer that if there is a cause of stress in your life, then you need to hit it head on, as that's really the only way that you're going to stop this stress. And boy, have I had some stressful periods over these last few months, I can tell you. But I've made several decisive decisions recently and have turned things around, I think. I hope. Anyway, you don't want to hear about my personal woes, do you? You do? Oh, okay, well, here we go. Well, it all started about seven months ago. No, I'm only joking. So what's this video about then? Well, I wanted to use my brand new Canon 70D camera to talk about Trump. Clinton and Obama. The paid for media have had a conniption fit, I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, over Trump getting elected. I, by the way, snuck 50 quid on him to win at 6 to 1 on the night of the election. That's £300 for those of you who can't do quick mental arithmetic. Nice. The left have taken Trump's election really, really badly. Riots, recounts, intimidating the Electoral College representatives, but none of this has worked. And we learned today that Obama is going to expel 35 Russian diplomats as he ramps up even further the Cold War rhetoric. Now this started when Trump won the election, and shortly after that the Democrats blamed Russia for hacking the election. But what exactly are the Democrats blaming on Russia? Well I'll tell you, they're saying that Russia hacked Hillary Clinton's emails and passed them to WikiLeaks. They didn't, but this hasn't stopped the paid-for media telling us they did. There is literally no proof whatsoever to support the claim that Russia hacked anything to do with the US election. They're even saying now that Russia hacked the Brexit vote. It's beyond a joke. It's ridiculous. The only proof we have that Russia so-called hacked the US election is the American government intelligence agencies tell us it was so. Remember, these are the same intelligence agencies that have lied to us about almost everything. But on this fact, on Russian hacking, you can believe them because they told us we can believe them. It's the Russians that did it in it. The left are desperate to start war with Russia, as I think this is now their only hope. Start a war, cancel Trump's inauguration, keep Obama in power. Because people just cannot stand Hillary Clinton. On the recount, she lost more votes. Trying to intimidate the Electoral College representatives. She in fact lost more delegates than Trump did. Never more so has the US election shown us just how stupid some people in America are. Don't get me wrong, we have our stupid idiots over here in the UK. But bugger me. Hillary Clinton has made no bones about wanting a no-fly zone in Syria before the election. Just listen to what Joseph Dunsford, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in America, said about Hillary's plan to have a no-fly zone in Syria if she was elected. What about the option of controlling the airspace so that, that barrel bombs cannot be dropped? Well, all the all options. Uh, they, what do you think of that option, sir? Uh, right now, Senator, for us to control all of the airspace in Syria would require us to go to war against Syria and Russia. That's a pretty fundamental decision that certainly I'm not going to make. Also listen to what greeny Jill Stein said about Hillary's plans if she got elected. A vote for Hillary Clinton isn't going to fix it. And one last point, which is this, that it's now Hillary Clinton who wants to start an air war uh, with Russia over Syria by calling for a no-fly zone. We have 2,000 nuclear missiles on hair trigger alert, and Mikhail Gorbachev, the uh, former premier of the Soviet Union, is saying we are closer to a nuclear war than we have ever been. 
Under Hillary Clinton, we could slide into nuclear war very quickly from her declared policy in Syria. So I won't sleep well at night if Donald Trump is elected, but I sure won't sleep well at night if Hillary Clinton is elected. Fortunately, the U.S. election came down to this. Trump wants to talk to the Russians. Hillary and Obama want to bomb them. Which would you prefer, considering that some reports say that World War III will last 90 minutes? We dodged a bullet there massively. And now all Obama's trying to do, he's trying to do everything he can to start a bloody war. It's unbelievable. These people are ridiculous.